Today I have kind of a neat product to unbox. This is the Trendnet TEW684UB. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have a sexy name or anything, but what's cool about this device is that it is the first USB 450 megabit per second dual band wireless and USB adapter. So yes, it is a USB 450 megabit per second wireless device. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this little guy up here. Comes in a very small box. I mean, it's a USB device, so it couldn't be couldn't be that large, right? I mean, it could be, but it wouldn't make much sense. All right, here we go. So here's what Trendnet has to say about 450 megabit per second dual band. It is better than 450 megabit. It is better than 300 megabit dual band, better than 300 megabit end speed, as well as 150 megabit per second. So it is the best. Okay, got it. Right here, we see what the device looks like, but we're gonna see that when we open it up. Here we see how to use it. So you connect it to the computer. Okay, and then it is wirelessly connected to your router. And they recommend the TEW691GR, which I happen to have one of. Here we go. So I have a whole fleet of TrendNet 450 megabit per second devices. So you can bet there will be a Tech Tips up coming on that shortly. All right, so there they show the other devices. So the 690AP is the one that I don't have, but that's fine because the 690AP is just an AP version of the... 691GR, which is the full router, so the more interesting product anyway. So here it is. It actually looks like a little tiny version of the Trendnet uh, TEW687GA. So the GA is the gaming adapter, which is uh, uses a gigabit Ethernet interface rather than a USB 3 interface. And then, actually here, I'll show it to you. So there's the 687GA, so you can see the size difference. And I'll do the obligatory iPhone size comparison as well, just so you guys can see how big this thing is. So it's not super large. It could easily be carried if you were going to travel and you were going to bring this guy with you. Okay, so it uses micro... Hold on, hold on. I can never remember the USB 3 cable standards. <sighs> oh, right, this is USB 2. So it just uses a B cable. Oh, mini B. There we go. Good. I know the USB 2 ones. There you have it. So then it plugs in via a normal USB 2.0 port. So bear in mind, of course, guys, that USB 2... Oh, okay, USB 2 is 480 megabit per second, as I recall. So what that means is that with this one device, you can pretty much uh, saturate your USB 2 bus. But, I mean, I wouldn't worry too much about that because you're not going to be using the full throughput of this device very often. That's only when you're transferring large files at a time. So you can see it's got a one button setup button up here, WPS. There you can see that now. On the bottom it has the MAC address as well as the serial number. On the back there's your USB. And it pretty much looks like this. There's not much more to say. So there's a WPS light an activity light as well as a power light on the front. Why don't we go ahead and plug that in? I can show you what the indicator lights look like. So I'm just going to come over here, plug this into my test computer, and hopefully, there you go. So that's what those lights are going to look like. Please focus, Mr. Camera. There we are. All right. So thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Trendnet Wireless N. 450 megabit per second TEW684UB. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. Please focus, Mr. Camera. You know, I think it's having a hard time focusing because it's so shiny. There, see? Now I can see it. Oh, I missed something there. It actually comes with a quick installation guide, which is going to show you how to use WPS as well as plug it into your computer, and a driver and utility DVD that has the user's guide on it as well, rather, CD.